Hey everyone, this is Vicki of Messy Table Studio and I have some loose in sort of subjects that I wanted to do one video to, because I didn't want to make another seven minute video, just that was too quick. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something I made that I saw Nick the Booksmith, you know, um, in one of the past videos where I did the roller bind for the little tiny composition notebooks, I mentioned that I, I saw one of Nick the Booksmith's um, videos about her commercial paper cutter and I bought one although mine was cheaper then than it is now because prices have gotten a little crazy nevertheless I really like it so I watch a lot of Nick the Booksmith videos don't always make or want to make what she makes but I just like to listen to her talk and I, I really enjoy her videos so she made something a while ago that I just I knew instantly that I had to make it. Here it is. This is um, made from materials that I had in the art room that I did not have to purchase. Ooh, I didn't glue that one down. I did not have to purchase. My husband cut the stuff up. I glued things in, told him what I wanted, and he figured out the links and... We went from there. Let me pull this stuff out of here. And I am I see that I did not glue in one of the... It didn't... St well, it didn't exactly stick. So we might have to re-glue this one, but I'm going to leave it in so you can see it. This is made out of rulers and um, some kind of composite board that I had my husband cut. He bought it one of the big box stores and cut it up for me a while ago. I think they were cut in 8x10 pieces and I've got six or eight left something like that so um, there were two rulers that I had one belonged to me and one belonged to my mother when we cleaned out her things and my mom liked to craft and she always liked she liked to sew so there is a very skinny ruler that was cut up from Little Rock Arkansas and then I collected this big one here from um, some kind of a Chevrolet place that had them on Lynn Haven Parkway and Virginia Beach Boulevard, so where we used to live. So she made hers to use as a, um, uh, to store her sewing stuff. Mine's sewing, but not the same type. So my husband cut up the rulers. I told him what I wanted. And see, look, this didn't glue on the end, so I'm going to have to re-glue this one. Um, I told him what I wanted, and he cut them up, and then I spent the rest of the... Uh, it took me a couple days to get them to stick um, and let them dry really well. So this is just... It didn't cost anything to make this because it was all stuff that we had on hand, and if you can make something like this, it's super-duper easy, and... I got rid of a couple small containers out of a drawer. So what mine's going to store are my sewing supplies for bookmaking because I like pulling stuff out of the drawer and all I have to, whoops, that didn't go there. All I have to do is pull this little box out and it's got everything I need, binding threads. The only thing that's not in here is, um, what do you call it, web, the, uh, book cloth. I don't have that in here because it's just not going to fit because it's too tall. Too long. Um, so I, I just was so excited about having this that I I couldn't wait. As soon as I saw the video I went around the house gathering up the stuff that I needed and sure enough it was all in, in here and we made this and it goes into my drawer that sits next to me because I don't leave this stuff out on my desk. So it's go, it goes in the drawer where all my bookmaking materials are, and I am tickled pink about how well this turned out, so much so that I'm going to scour, um, what do you call them, craft malls? No, not craft malls. Well, yeah, craft malls, and see if I can't find more rulers to use and make more of these because I just find them extremely useful. And they're full of character. They're just, I just love the way they look. All right, so that's the first one. Let me put this away because I'm really bad about not putting stuff away. There we go. 
All right, the second thing is, I forgot to make a video on this, but it's such a small thing that I really don't think it needs a whole video by itself. All right, these are, and I ordered this off of Amazon, and they are plastic. I didn't know exactly what to expect when I got them, but they're kind of cool, and I have used them, and they work great, and I was very surprised. I did see this on Nick the Booksmith where she had some kind of a corner thing. I think she made one out of cardboard or something, but I saw these on Amazon. I said, uh, yep, 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 yep. I got to have these. Um, let me go get some board, and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to go get some um, chipboard and cut it so that I could use it for demonstration purposes. I think I need to have them this way, although that wouldn't leave me a whole lot. I guess we're going to go this way. Is there anything on the back? No. Okay. All right, so I have two pieces of chipboard. I don't really care how much edge there is, so I'm going to just randomly cut this down the middle because really measuring for this is not the point of this. Okay. And there's too much at the top and too much at the bottom, but we'll take care of that in a second. All right, so I want to glue this on here, but I want my corners to look nice. Let me put some glue on here. Oh, wow, that came out fast. Ooh, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Okay, and we need one of these so we can squeegee the glue. And then go ahead and do the other piece. I hate to waste this glue because this stuff's not cheap and it's getting more expensive as time goes by. I'll do it. We're having kind of a cloudy day today, so I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm, I always have terrible lighting. Doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't turn out. I had to take pictures of something the other day to post somewhere, and um, doggone it. <laughs> My shadow was in every direction I went. All right, so I'm just going to lay this on here. I'm going to eyeball it. Whoop, I'm not going to lay it on that way. Hmm. Almost, people. Almost. Let us flip the paper over because we really like the pretty side to be the cover. Okay, so don't care. Not, let's do it from this end. Not worried about the paper waste here. I'm gonna smooth my bubbles out. Okay, all right. I'm going to cut off too much paper here, and this will go in my paper pile to use on something else later. Okay, so this is where these handy-dandy doodads come in. All right, so there are two piles of these, and each of these is based on a thickness of the board. So if you have a very thin board, and it tells you what the thickness is, this is 1.5, and I think it means millimeters, and that would be perfect for this because it's smooth across, well, not, nope, I think maybe I need a two for, so that when you run your finger across, it's, it's nice and smooth. So this is a two millimeter. There's the one. It goes, no, that's one and a half, and the smile pop. it goes to three, one, it's hard to see. I'm sorry. It goes from one and a half to three millimeters in thicknesses. Wait, is this one thicker? Yeah, one and a half to three. Then the other part of it are the thicker ones, and these are really thick. So it goes from a four, let me take the rubber band off, to um, 12. So if you're using thick things and you need mitered corners, for putting paper around something. These are great because they fit right on here perfectly. So this is what you do. You just fit it on the corner, you take a straight edge, and you butt it up against there and you cut it. I 
have to kind of push this down. The board's starting to warp because the glue's making it warp. Just put it on there and hold it with your fingers and cut. So what that does is it assures you that you're not going to cut too close to the edge so that your cardboard doesn't show. So I'm going to take this and just give it a little smear. I want to make sure that it's flat on the edge there so it goes around. I saw Caged Fish do hers this way where she wrapped it around and that way I think the intention is to assure that this is flat and all your paper, your paper is not puckered. Alright, so here comes the cool part. So you're going to have to indent a little bit here. I've seen people do it with their fingernails. I've seen them do it with a million different ways. It's whatever you are most comfortable with. You can indentate with your fingernail so that it kind of caves in here. And then I just kind of rolled the paper over a little bit. It's very small, subtle sort of thing. See, you just kind of roll it. I just roll it over like that and then crease it and that assures that my corners will not show anything um, that I don't want to be shown. So here I'm just going to crease it a little bit, roll it over. Just crease it and kind of roll it over. And it doesn't come up, not usually, let's put it that way. All right, so I'm going to take it, and I want to make sure I get the glue on those little pieces, make sure they don't flop up. Take it and roll it over. Okay, they're both folded over and kind of sticky with the glue, so I don't think they're going to come up. I'll make sure. And then I just kind of roll it and press it. And then, and look at that. Perfect corners. Every single time. Every single time. These, I don't know what it is about these, but these things are so wonderful. And it was worth what I paid for them. Please don't ask me how much, because I don't remember. Um, I think you can leave, a, I, I will leave a link in the description box below or I'll put it in the caption when I edit the stuff. All right, so let me do this again so you can see it again. Is this the one point? Nope, I needed the two. So there's the two. You can make them out of cardboard, but I'm not that, I'm not that motivated. I should have named my channel The Lazy Crafter. I think somebody's already got that name, which I think <laughs> is a cool name. All right, let's do this again. Yep, flat, nice and flat. And then I just push it a little bit. I don't want to rip the paper. I've done that a couple times, getting overzealous. All right, now here's where you do your little indentation. I just take my finger and kind of roll the paper from the corner. Give it a little press with my thumb. It's just the tiniest bit, usually, that you have to kind of crease and, and roll it over. And there you go, just a little, another little... I indentate with my thumb here and then kind of roll where I creased it a little bit with my thumb. 
and it just makes a very tiny little crease. Did I do this one? No, I gotta do this one next. Put my thumb, I'm creasing it with my thumbnail and just kind of rolling it a little bit so it kind of tucks that corner away. Let me stick a little glue under that. Do it with my fingers because that's expedient. And one of the best tools I have that are free. All right, now we're going to turn this. And just smooth the glue down so that you can make sure this little crease, this little flap that you have is glued down too so it doesn't pop up. Boy, this mat's going to be a mess by the time I get done. Okay, and then I roll it and slide it nice and tight. Perfect corners every single time. Um, I just love what it does for my corners because I struggle with corners and this more or less solved my corner problem. Sometimes what I would do is when I knew I was going to be too short or I was scared I would be too short where these two corners weren't going to match, after I cut these off, I would take this and glue them in the corners so that it wasn't as obvious when these were glued down that there was a gap. Unless, of course, it's totally different color. <laughs> so I would put it here and then fold my stuff over it. I don't have to do that anymore because of these little plastic doodads. So I just thought they were really cool. And... Um, I really like them and I think that was a good investment on bookmaking because I'm not the kind of person who guesstimates this very well. So I really thought these were very clever and they're based on the thickness of the book foundation, what you're going your substrate, that's the word, substrate you're going to use. So there you go, perfect corners. Cool tool, huh? Okay, so that's my loose ends to tie up and I will be back hopefully soon with another video. I have two or three ideas in the pipeline and I'm working on them right now. This week there's no trial for um, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp so I have lots of time to hurry up and get some filming done so I'm trying to do that as best I can. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye and thanks everybody who leaves comments. Even though those only like three or four comments, I still do appreciate and I try to respond even if it's a heart or a like. I try to respond to acknowledge the fact that I've seen that you were kind enough to leave a comment. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.